Hi, this is Adam, Golf One, Zulu Hotel Delta. If you're new to using a KX3, you might find this uh, video helpful. Uh, if you know it reasonably well, you might think this is very basic. Uh, but um, following a post on Facebook where somebody was saying that they were having problems receiving or they found their performance of the KX3 uh, being very poor in comparison to other radios, it was suggested that a few things uh, could be checked. Uh, this is just to show you some of those uh, items and uh, how to check them. Uh, the first item to check was around the ATU, uh, making sure that the uh, automatic um, tuning unit was uh, installed and active. You can tell that by looking at the display. If you have ATU displayed on there, then the ATU is, um, is installed and active. What you need to do, to, if that isn't displayed, is to go into the main menu. By pressing the DISP button holding down, it'll put you into the menu. If you're not already there, by using the small button, rotating button, you can go through the menu items until you receive, until you get to, sorry, the ATU MD button uh, option. As you see on mine, it's currently showing as auto. By moving the VFR button, uh, you can uh, change it appropriately. If you find that it says not installed, or it's on bypass, or any of the test options, then move it to auto. And then press the menu button to come back out again. So this shirt now shows the ATU button uh, icon on the screen and if you press the ATU tune it should go away and go and tune appropriately. So that's the ATU. Next item to check is make sure that the attenuator isn't running which of course you might need if you're using if you're getting very strong local signals. To switch the attenuator off, uh, first of all, you'll see on the screen that it says ATT. Uh, the button for the attenuator is ATTN. And if you press that button, the ATT disappears. So the attenuator is now off. Next thing to check is the preamp. PRE is the button for preamp. If you press that, You'll see on the screen, PRE is displayed. I'm now going to turn the volume down. Now the preamp is in place. And that's made quite a big difference. Next uh, to consider is the RF setting. Now the RF setting is similar to, uh, to Squelch. And you get to the uh, RF setting through the same button as the, as the volume, as the audio. Uh, button but you press it once and it goes to RF so we do that again AF RF and you'll see it's on minus 18 on here so if I move it now I'm now getting the receive up to zero so there's no squelch now on the um, on the receive gain Right, let me turn the volume back down. So you can see there's already some improvements, even though it's mostly noise because there isn't a, free, a uh, station on that frequency at the moment. Uh, next thing to check is the noise uh, reduction option, which is actually only available on CW or AM, uh, not on uh, SSB or, or on FM. So what we'll do is just quickly go to mode put it into CW. The noise reduction is on the preamp button and you hold and press that and you'll see now there's an NR setting at the bottom which is the noise reduction say so is on by pressing that again your noise reduction goes off. You can also if you want to keep noise reduction on you can actually alter the amount of noise reduction, it says NR10 at the moment. 
If I bring that back up again, NR10, and then I move this knob, I can reduce the noise reduction appropriately. Okay. Now I'm going to switch that up back off again. So NR disappears. I'll quickly switch back over to USB. Okay, so that's noise reduction. Next thing is the equalizer. So this is the receive equalizer. If I go in again into the menu, and I move the small button until I get to RX. And we should find RX equalizer. What I'm going to do is now is flatten that equalizer uh, by doing I do this by using the one, two, eight buttons that are on here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we've got seven, eight, and nine. If I select one, it'll flash. And now by using the v the VFO button, I can reduce that or I can set it to zero. So for the receive, I'm going to set it to zero. <coughs> now we're going to go all the way through this until I've set them all to zero. The default is zero. I was just mucking about earlier and forgot to uh, set it back. Okay, right, they're all on zero now. So the um, uh, receive equalizer is now flat. I come back out the menu. Okay, uh, next thing to check is the noise blanker. Um, and I'm going to, you know, I'm in USB, so it's to say is NB on the screen, and to switch the noise blanker off is under the attenuator button. I hold and press, so if I hold and press, then the NB comes off, the noise blanker comes off. Uh, now I'm going to switch the preamp on, which is the PRE button. And we suddenly we've got our signal. We've got to at least the uh, the noise back. Okay, and then final thing I'm going to do is just just check to see what filters I've got set at the moment, and for uh, the filters. I press the center button and so it says high and I can widen it out reducing the filtering and the same on the low side bring it to zero right that's as wide as it will go now so that's with the filtering off so now I just need to Find a frequency. Oh look, the band is quiet, but never mind. Yeah, it's definitely quiet. Uh, nothing on there at the moment. But so we've gone through the making sure that the ATU is working, uh, which it is. Making sure we've got the preamp on. Uh, then uh, checking uh, that we've got uh, no squelch on the RF, uh, checking that there's no noise reduction on, either on CW or AM, checking the equaliser, the receive equaliser is flat, checking that the noise blanker is off, uh, and just checking what settings we've got on the, uh, on the filter. So even though it's not a very good demonstration because there's no signals there at the moment, I hope 